Okay, I've done a little bit of sanding here and smoothed down my little nicks and bumps that you can still see a bit of on the inside areas of the feathers. So before you completely thin down a feather, it's important to make sure you've got the contour and shape correct. So, and you'll also find that the size of a feather will grow while you're carving. So it's important to come back and check your measurements and make sure that the feather hasn't grown in the process of carving it from your design originally um, drawn onto the wood. Now, wood burning, I can use my wood burner to clear away wood and thin these feathers down as well. I'd like to get as much as I can carved. I'm having the patience to actually finish the sanding process will pay off a hundredfold later on during texturing and even in the painting process you don't have to hide little nicks and bumps and things you left out when you're sanding Right now I'm inspecting all my other little feathers. You know, we're really creating an illusion of thinness. We can't really carve a feather as thin as it truly is. I don't have anything there to work with, so we have to uh, create that illusion. So I get all these little anomalies sanded out. Then I can take a look at how thin the feather really is. Because by removing these anomalies, I'm thinning the feather out. So, so you don't run out of wood. Better to get all of this taken care of before you do the final thinning on the final sanding because that too after you even thin the back side you'll need to do some sanding there as well so you have to account for that wood that will be removed during the sanding process and in real life we don't really see unless there's a color change or a texture change uh, where one feather starts and another one stops they're so thin so again that's this illusion that we're going to be I'm going to be trying to create in this demonstration With the basic sanding completed, I'm going to do a little bit more thinning. Uh, that sanding cleaned out some of these areas on the in-betweens. And those pencil lines I showed you earlier have been 
removed but there's still removal that needs to be completed so I'm going to uh, have to switch over to a friction grip which is a 1 16th inch shank bit to uh, finish off this next uh, step so I'll be using uh, my longer I've got a set of diamonds they're all 1 16th inch those are also my 16th inch uh, texturing stones the abrasive white ceramic so inserting this into my collet reducer I'm able to put that into my handpiece tighten it down and be ready to go turn my uh, dust collection system on the Tornado 1000 a little higher than I was when I was sanding and I'm going to just start doing some more thinning here I'll be able to come back with this very small ball that I have and uh, clean up the underside of these feathers. This can really clean up the surface and do some contouring in places I won't be able to sand. My light, right? There we go. So I'll take it as far as I can with this pointed diamond to uh, contour the top side of the feather and then to knock out the wood from underneath I'll use that ball small sphere diamonds in between these feathers that will really uh, serve to this look of thin feathers. You gotta be careful. You see the see these feathers are being thinned and contoured at the same time very slowly and methodically so that I have control to 
dig around. You don't want to keep lifting up and going down. You want to try and make really long, clean strokes pushing down on the feather below because that one needs to be very smooth looking and contoured even in these deeper areas. So I'm doing that right now as I thin. If I hold it at a slightly different angle, I can see in there a little further. And I don't want to push too hard because I'm going to come back with that spear and clean out the underside. Hand three hand piece got this nice small end on it and it allows me to lay that bit down nice and flat where a wider hand piece would impede that. This also fits in my nice small hand nicely in my small hand. See how I'm slowly pinning down these feathers. Patience is uh, key in this. keeping in mind what's going on in the feather above it and the one below it. <clears throat> Can't lose sight of this. and nicks and they're very difficult to sand out when they're in this area. That is not very reachable even with this point. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper on this. I'm gonna be using a spear in this area when I come back. Slowly opening these areas up in between each one of these feathers. 